welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute it's been a minute and um today's video is like kind of sad <laughs> a little bit um this is officially my last video in this apartment it is pre-moving day today and yeah it's officially happening that i am moving to virginia tomorrow but first of all if you've never seen my channel before and this is your first video welcome my name is gabrielle i also go by gaby and here on the channel we are miss gch and uh for those of you who are not new have been around for a while you're like wait a minute something is different yes i went ahead you guys and went even further than my last cut so i posted the big chop number two uh maybe like a month ago ish and I had cut it down, I'll insert picture, video, all that. Um, I cut it down like pretty low already for me because um, if you know anything about my hair journey, if you watch that video, um, I've never had short hair like this. And you know, over that like three weeks uh, that I had that cut, it was like I enjoyed it, but I just felt like there was something more I was supposed to do. You know, like I, I, did, I wasn't like set into my look um, and even I would play around with it and I would do some things and I'd be like, I like that, but it just wouldn't be kind of, it. it just felt like there's something else that I'm supposed to do. So I was like, you know what, maybe I should just cut the rest of it off and go bigger, go home, or go lower, go home. And I just kind of convinced myself like, okay, I should just do it. I should just cut it low and just see what happens. Um, and what happened is y'all, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. And to be honest, for the longest time, I thought that I could not have short hair, that I couldn't pull it off. Um, I thought my head was too big. I thought like all sorts of things for why I just felt like I can't have short hair. And I would always say like, maybe, you know, once I grow it out, then I'll cut it off, you know, whatever. No, the time was now, the time was 2020. <laughs> this was not a reaction cut to how awful 2020 has been to us. Um, it wasn't, honestly, this was just like, it was just something that my soul was kind of craving, you know, like I, I felt such freedom in this cut, um, cutting it lower than I ever thought and still finding myself beautiful, honestly finding myself more beautiful than I've ever felt before. It's just like everything that I needed right now. Like it just, it is everything I needed in this season. So um, yeah, so this is my cut. I don't know how much you guys can really see it right now. Um, but yeah this is it and um i will definitely be posting all sorts of videos as i figure out like how i like to style it and what products i use i'm already kind of getting into kind of a you know swing of things and into a routine that i kind of like so once i get settled in the new apartment um later this week uh, i have about a week and a half before i actually start my internship full time so i will definitely have plenty of time to record videos and uh one of you guys actually two of you guys hit me up in my dms on instagram and was just like you know are you driving to virginia can you vlog the experience of moving and i'm like you guys i got you of course i will be recording everything so i will be recording moving day tomorrow and we'll do an empty apartment tour we'll do um i've been able to go to ikea and i've been shopping online i've got a ton of stuff um so i'll do a haul of all the things that i got online Still some things to get. Might stop by Ikea again today, y'all, because they don't have an Ikea close to me in Virginia, but the Ikea here in Columbus is like 20 minutes away. So with that being said, I might stop by there. Some of their prices were just too good to pass up. So um, I'll make sure I do a haul of all of that though when I get there. It just makes more sense because a lot of my stuff is packed up here. But I kept my room because I wanted to give you all one last kind of look at what it looks like to have the videos here in this apartment. The reason this room is so special to me is because literally I started my YouTube channel here. Like, let's just throw it back. I've been planning and hesitating and questioning myself. And I finally said, you know what, here we go. And y'all, I am rocking this middle part today and I'm kind of feeling myself. Like I typically don't like middle parts, so I'm just, 
I'm feeling this day. Y'all feeling this day? Anyways, baby, let's stay focused. So, so I used to literally like get sheets of fabric. I think I had like three or four of them from Walmart, I think. And I would pin them into the wall over here before I had these shelves and this stuff here. And I would just pin them on the wall and that was my backdrop. I used to put my coffee table on my bed here to balance my uh, iPad at the time to record my first few videos. And we've evolved to now this. Camera quality is better. The room just, I finally decorated. Like, so yeah, my journey really started here. So this room really means a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to you all, especially those who have been around since the beginning. So if you have, I say thank you. Anyone who supported my videos throughout the years, it was all recorded right here or in my living room um, or in my kitchen. So yeah we're gonna miss this one we're gonna miss this apartment but yeah everything else is packed up taped up i actually didn't um post the vlog of me doing the last final steps honestly to me it was kind of boring you know it was just it would have been a lot of just fast-paced cleaning which some of you might have liked you know just for a little relaxing cleaning video um clean and pack video but i figured i'd give you all three i think of those already so i was just like don't worry about it so We'll record moving day, empty apartment tour, apartment tour once I start decorating and getting everything out. We'll do a haul of all the things that I got. And I'll probably just take you guys with me as I explore the city because it'll be a true quarantine is what I'm telling people because I don't know anybody in Virginia. Uh, I mean, I do know people, but not really people that are near the area that I will, like the city that I will be staying in. So yeah, I'll be exploring um, and I'll take you guys with me for all of this. So yeah, so I just wanna come on and kinda do an update and just let you guys know where I am like mentally and physically <laughs> uh, at this stage of my life. I'm super excited. I feel like my transition this time is not scary. I'm not nervous. I'm actually super excited. I feel like my apartment is just my big girl apartment. Um, I think, I don't know if as of the last video I told you guys that I was able to find an apartment, but I did a couple weeks ago. Find an apartment, sign the lease. Like I really feel like not only will I love the apartment, but like the guests that come and stay with me will really enjoy it and I think you all will enjoy <laughs> the apartment um, as I get to record there and just you know decorate and just have fun you know I just am really at that point where it's the last stage of my PhD this is the last move that I have to complete before getting my degree you know so I'm gonna enjoy it like yes the dissertation is probably gonna kick my butt it's going to be a challenge but it's gonna be worth it and then um, the internship, you know, is going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot guaranteed, um, especially not knowing, you know, if we'll be back in the schools in the fall with the kids or how I'll be getting these hours if we're not in the schools. I don't know, but I just, I'm really just choosing to trust God, choosing to trust the fact that he's seen this entire path. I mean, from the beginning, you guys, I did this long winded post on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, just about what this eight year collegiate journey has been for me. And when I left home uh, after in Ohio at 18 to go live in Indiana, someplace I'd never been and didn't know anyone, um, like I, I, I couldn't have pictured that I would have traveled this journey the way that, like for it to unfold the way that it has, I never guessed it starting off. I never, ever, ever, ever wanted a PhD. Um, I never really thought I would still be in school this long. You know, I just, my trajectory was so different, but I also realized it was so much, like my aim was so much lower than where God was planning to have me. You know, like the target was up here and I was shooting down here thinking like, oh, that's amazing. And it's like, what God has planned, it truly does exceed, like far beyond anything we could have ever imagined. So, uh, I'm just excited. I'm just really, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I don't feel like a cannon, like just waiting, you know, to blow. I'm ready to blow. I'm ready to do this. And yeah, I'm just really excited about bringing this home for my family. I am a first generation PhD student and candidate in my family. And this is just big for so much more than me. It means a lot for my family and my community. So I'm ready, you guys. I'm just super ready. So I just wanted to come on, give you a last final video in my apartment, give you a little update on my life and a look at my short hair and update for why I cut it. Just cause I feel like some people were kind of concerned cause they just never thought I would go from my fro to this. 
Um, but I love my teeny weeny and it is staying for a while. Everyone keeps asking, are you gonna grow it out? No, I am not, not right away at least. So if you know any, um, not barbers, I was gonna say barbers, but I really don't want a barber because I feel like I don't need the masculine lineup. I don't need all that. I don't need all that. So if you know any hairstylist, natural hair hairstylist, in Virginia that can handle my little teeny weenie. If you have anyone in mind, let me know because I am looking because we are keeping it short for a while, maybe months, maybe a year. I don't know, but I'm enjoying this phase and um, yeah, I just feel like there's so much for me to tell you guys, but I'm just gonna let it roll out in these videos that are coming up because there are several videos coming up for you guys. So I'm not gonna talk your head off right now. I just wanna come in, check in, show you that I'm okay because it's been a little while since I posted a video and recorded. Um, let you know that it's pre-moving day and that tomorrow's moving day. And if you wanna get all the in-betweens, um, definitely follow me on Instagram. I will be on there much more frequently than uh, YouTube because it just takes more time to like record and edit a video to post for you guys. Um, Videos are coming pretty much almost back to back this week um, or at least next week I'll be rolling them out so they are coming but if you want like more of a day to day almost like hour to hour update of how the move is going and what I'm up to over the next couple of weeks make sure you follow me there on Instagram. I think that's all I'm going to say. My family's coming in town today. I'm going to hang out with some of my friends a little later on to say bye to them because I have the dopest community here in Columbus and I've just been super blessed and I gotta stop because I will keep going. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will stick around and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are a part of this entire new journey for me because this is gonna be an awesome season, guys. God is about to do some incredible things in this season and I would hate for you to miss out on them in the testimony because you know I'm gonna tell y'all. <laughs> you know I'm gonna let you know what God does with this move and over this next year of my life. So yeah. I hope y'all are just as excited as I am and I really hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.